Okay, so I just want to shoot a quick video on this, being it's still early in the season, but I may not be able to shoot any more video on this, depending on whether it lives or dies. And so this is called the, I don't know what that what it says there, you read that, Chemilowski's Wild Tomato. It's a wild tomato that comes from the Andean Mountains, if I'm not mistaken. One of the problems that I've been having with this tomato is that they keep dying off they're all wilting off like this and they're dying off now it stopped now and these few that i have left are actually starting to grow it reached a certain point it stopped they started damping off and dying and I, i'm really not sure as to what was actually causing this so I, i'm i'm really inclined to believe that this particular variety of tomato really doesn't like moisture at all this tomato from what i can gather and from what i see from its growing behavior grows in the high mountains the high country in the andean mountains where it's they don't sometimes receive rain for years so this plant is pretty much a desert plant it's not really a plant that likes to grow among other plants that receive water on a regular basis this is a desert plant i i'm pretty sure this is what's going on and the reason why it's rotting off is it's just too wet for the plant. It just dies. That's why it's, you can see here, see where it, it rots right from the, from the bottom up. Top half is still alive, but the bottom, forget about trying to cut those and root them. They won't root. They'll, they'll rot. They'll continue to die and rot away. So once this plant dies, it's dead. Very difficult tomato variety to grow, providing you don't over water it now i stopped watering it i left it alone it still has moisture in the pot but i don't water it anymore and since i stopped watering it the plant is really starting to grow now so i'm led to believe that this particular variety of tomato is a desert plant and it doesn't like to be watered very often every once in a rare while you give it a little bit of a watering and that's it I will update you more on this variety of tomato as it gets a little bigger and it starts to produce fruit and stuff, if we can actually get that far. Now, out of 30 plants, roughly, maybe even more than that, maybe like 40 plants, this is all I got left out of 40 plants. So I'm to a point now where I have to take drastic measures to try to keep these alive. And they may or may not live because simply the watering... Now, I'm not going to water them anymore, but what I can say is that um, they may or may not make it. So that's why I'm making this early film on this variety of tomato. It's a very, very challenging and difficult tomato variety to grow. And if you're a tomato grower and you're looking to get into wild tomatoes, this is going to be a very big challenge for you. Hopefully this video will help you as you're growing the tomato what and what not to do. Now, also another thing I stopped doing with this tomato is I stopped fertilizing it too. I, it's not taking kindly to my fertilizer mix, whereas you can see everything else absolutely loves my fertilizer that I make for this thing. But this thing is not taking well to it. It's a very temperamental type of variety of tomato. I grow both varieties of the Galapagos Island tomato, and the minor version is a very difficult variety to grow and actually get the fruit. It's one of the hardest out there. This tomato variety actually dwarfs that. That tomato variety is easy to grow compared to this thing. This thing is very, very difficult. It's a, it, this is expert level growing for tomato growers. If you're looking to get into wild tomatoes, this is going to take a lot of skill level to grow this. So uh, if I get seed from it, I'll offer it on my website. But it, again, there's going to be a, you know, a, a um, there's going to be a statement in there. You're just going to have to be able to read that statement before you purchase the seeds because it, you're going to have the same problem I'm having. And they're just going to rot off and they're just going to, turn off and die and that is mostly because of combination of i think the, how, what kind of sunlight it's getting as well as watering it doesn't also another thing i noticed is it doesn't really like to be in direct sunlight i put it in direct sunlight they all will and die now this isn't the first time i tried to grow this i've been trying to grow this since i don't know last year in in december november december now i've been having similar problems but i thought it was me i thought it was the fertilizer no, it's, it's, this plant doesn't like to be in wet soil. It likes it a little bit moist, but not wet. And it's a desert plant as far as what I can see. So we'll see how things go. If they 
pick up a little bit and we start getting flowers from it we'll try to update you i'll do a video on it if it survives i'll just keep you up to date with it we'll see how far we can take this variety of tomato all right so that's it for now don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care